morning. Winter, we're here cooking again. Today we're gonna do some fish recipes. I hope you like fish. Everybody's afraid of fish. They're afraid of the bones, the skin, where the fish comes from. And I say, if we have to worry about all these things, we're never gonna eat fish. So let's enjoy the thing because it's healthy. It's got all these omegas and they're good for you. So, because we're not sure of many things, what I say, a bite and a little prayer. <laughs> what do you think about that? I made that up, a bite and a little prayer because we don't know whether it's farmed, whether it's wild, you know, they play game with, games with us, so. But today we're gonna make fish. It's a wonderful recipe that I have. It's a Greek recipe. It's called plaki. Maybe other nationalities make it, but you're gonna see that this is such a nice, nice recipe, fast recipe. So a little bit of oil, like always. Okay, in a hot pan, not even a quarter of a cup. And then we add two onions and, and three cloves of garlic. We're going to saute this. And this recipe requires parsley. So we're gonna put our parsley in, and we're going to saute this for a few minutes. We're going to add some wine, and because I'm going to use tomato sauce, I'm going to use some red wine. Don't ever make the mistake and don't use good wine for your cooking. Your results are not gonna be good. You have to use good wine. So here we go. Perfect. Oh, it smells good. And then one cup of hot water with our tomato sauce. And we let it start boiling. And then we're putting in our cod. This is a beautiful piece of cod. I think it's enough for two people and it's gonna start to cook. You have to remember that fish doesn't take very long to cook. This is gonna be, take about 10 minutes cooking. Time. It's an easy recipe. This is our objective to make food that is delicious and that is easy and that it's fast so that everybody can enjoy. So in this recipe here now, we're gonna put some olives, all about 10 olives. And we're gonna put some raisins. Remember, we usually put sugar, but in this recipe, I'm gonna put some raisins. They're gorgeous. When they're very dry, the recipes, remember, put them in a little bit of water and in the micro for you know, 30 seconds to warm up, and then they soften up and they get nice and plump. It's gonna give it another taste, which I love. We're gonna use our salt. So many people ask me how much salt. I don't know. You know how much do you like? And some pepper and some feta. Okay, the Greek in me comes kicking. It's just a little bit of feta. And because I don't like to be ordinary, I will put some shrimp. It's gonna cook well with the fish. It's about three, four minutes for the shrimp. That's it, it's a complete meal. Remember that the fish and the shrimp will release uh, their juices and the, the liquid is gonna be nice and juicy and it's gonna have the flavor of the fish and of the shrimp. So, you're gonna like it, I really. This is gonna be ready in a few minutes. Doesn't that look good, isn't that easy? I wanna hear that you people trying are trying my recipes, okay? How does it look? I think it looks good. So since the house is going to smell fishy today, I decided to make two recipes because I love fish and I can have some today and I can have some tomorrow because I can't afford to have the house smelling fish with a husband that doesn't like fish. Okay, so here we go. This is mackerel. It's a rich, nice fish. It's inexpensive and it cooks very, very fast. You don't have to have a special procedure for this fish. So uh, I asked uh, my fish person to remove the head. So I'm gonna slit it here a little bit, like this. And we're gonna use some salt. And we're going to fill the cavity with garlic, sort of like a gremolata, with 
parsley like this you know and we're going to use some lemon as a base because the only thing we're going to use now is a little bit of oil but not too much oil because this is a rich fish just a touch of olive oil it's not hard to eat well and to eat different things and it's going to go in the oven it's going to cook for about 25 minutes 